Hi guys, Harry here for Hardcore Course Updates and Reviews. Tonight I will be doing a review on Lucifer Valentine's Vomit Gore 4, <clears throat> aka the Black Mass of Nazi Sex Wizard. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, Lucifer Valentine's work, but um, he did the Slaughter Vomit Doll trilogy. Uh, and he's done some other stuff over the years. Um, he is uh, mm, uh, basically, uh, to describe him, I'd say he is pretty much making movies for Satan, if you believe in that kind of fantasy. Um, look at his name, Lucifer Valentine. Um, very sick, f sick fuck. Very sick fuck. Um, I like his films. I'm a sick fuck myself. But, uh, with his newest film, uh, he still finds way to shock um, his audience. Uh, with, with this film, uh, I mean, th none of his films really have too much of a plot. If they do, they're very, very little. So I'm not going to really go into the story. It's just basically, um, it's about a prostitute girl that. Uh, goes to see a client, I think, and does all this fucked up shit with him. Bondage. Um, all sorts of weird sexual fucked up shit. Um, seems like he, I don't know where he finds these actresses from, and actors, um, to do these, these, uh, pretty horrible things, like in the beginning of the each of his movies they have usually have the lead female actress reading a disclaimer saying that uh, she did all this stuff voluntarily um, they actually have people cutting themselves in this he found some cutters which is common now with if with a lot of the horror movies now uh, they're actually doing some real violence which we don't have an opinion on that. I mean, if you want to do that kind of shit to yourself and you're that fucked up, yeah, you know, hey, more power to you. I mean, if you're doing it in the name of art, man, more power to you. But this film, um, I did enjoy. Um, there's a lot of flashbacks. I, I'm not flashbacks, but a lot of flashing images of different things, different weird stuff, a lot of satanic stuff. Um... <sighs> It's just a crazy, crazy mess. I, I really don't know how else to, to, to describe it. Um, there's vomiting, of course. That's one of his highlights. Um, there's cutting, real cutting. Um, and not just like a little cutting, I mean deep cutting where there's, a, there's a quite a bit of blood, which I was really surprised about. Um, some other highlights of the film are, I don't want to give too much away, but other highlights are... Um, Pretty much cutting off the boobs of a girl and eating them, and then vomiting in the holes of the craters of the, where the boobs were, the breasts were. Uh, another highlight was uh, cutting a girl's face off to where it's a pit, um, and pissing in it, uh, where the guy drinks the piss out of the head and vomits back into it and repeats. So. <laughs> That's some of the highlights of, of the film. Um, you know, he, even with all this horrible stuff that's going on in the film, uh, Lucifer Valentine still does make an artistic film. And I don't think his films are trashy. I mean, I think that they're very extreme and they're for their art and they're not really to be taken seriously, but um, some people do take them seriously. I mean, if I showed this film to just an ordinary person, they'd probably be like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? But, um, yeah, I just think that the, the, the film is it was very well done. Um, I know that there was a limited release from Black Lava Entertainment. I think that was how it, the company's name. Off the top of my head, but anyways, there was a limited run with that, and they sold out very quickly. And there's people selling them on eBay for ridiculous prices, which I think is it's bullshit. But what are you gonna do? Um, I was able to obtain a copy. Um, 
And I'm glad I did. And I'll wait for probably on Earth to release it in the regular standard or special edition. I'm not going to pay, you know, what people are asking for. Um, it's a good film, but I don't think it's worth whatever the people are asking for on eBay, like $200 or some shit like that. I think that's ridiculous. But, yeah, if you guys are able to get a chance to check it out, I recommend it if you're into the extreme um, gore cinema. Um, like I said, Lucifer Valentine does paint a pretty picture, a pretty extreme, fucked up, gory picture. And he definitely takes his films to the other level with the extreme. So that's my review on Vomit Gore 4. And have a gory one.